so we are currently in a very um, interesting um, time and season and then therefore the socialist in a sense got shot down with facts by Charlie Keg and of course I want us to check out this video um, together so without any further ado let's get down to it and check it out nice and close okay and um, ma'am I, I want to hear from you again in a sec okay yeah yes hi how are you <laughs> so earlier I heard you call Washington a den of thieves which I fully agree with keep in mind I'm gonna preface that immediately don't agree with Democrats however I want to know from you and I want to get your opinion on why is Donald Trump any different from all the other thieves that are in Washington right now looting and pillaging the earnings of the working class it's a good question uh, first of all he cut your taxes um, number two he made it easier for you to own a home Number three, we had no new wars, which I'm sure you care about. So this is important. He actually starved the beast of the military-industrial complex. Starved it? Really? Yeah. yeah. Did, did Russia invade Ukraine? Uh, yeah, they did. Uh, under Trump? Well, no, but they okay. were probably going to do it anyway. Yeah, exactly. They've had did, a very did, big blood and soil thing going on in Russian politics well, hold for on. a no, while no, no, now. This is important. Let's, let's talk about this kinda logically. It was kind of coming. So under Bush, <laughs> Russia takes Georgia. Under right. Obama, Russia takes Crimea. Under right. Biden, Russia takes the Donbass. Why is it that they didn't do anything for four years under Trump? I thought he was a Russian agent. Well, I don't agree that he's a Russian agent. No, 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 for sure. I'm just being sarcastic, saying, why is it for four years Russia stopped all of their incursions when under Bush, Obama, and Biden, it was a all-you-can-eat buffet in the Russian hemisphere? Probably something relating to Russian politics. I'm not sure. I'm okay, not no, but this is the, the point, subject. is that the answer is that Trump was a peace president, unlike the den of thieves that are currently running this country. I don't know if I would call a peace president someone who drops a Moab to kill uh, terrorists in, where was it? It was uh, ISIS, I believe, right? He just dropped a Moab on that mother... Which is pretty cool. Which so, is pretty cool, keep in mind. No, I mean, I, I do want to ask a question. W what is a terrorist? A terrorist is someone who, well, commits terrorist acts, bombings, shootings. Sure. Uh, let's see, what else? So should those people be... Well, if they're threatening the life of their fellow countrymen, then probably, yeah. Okay, so, so we have no moral uh, difference on that. No, so, but, but I think it's interesting that you call him a peace president when he does that. You excuse this military action and call him a peace president even though... It, it, I mean, it's very I'm not important. saying that the target was he, not justified, keep in mind. Fair enough. No, but, but again, he did not start a new conventional ground war where every president in the last 40 years, including Reagan, has. That's very noteworthy. And so you asked the question, what makes Trump different? I'll tell you one thing, which I think is important. If Trump was like all the rest of them, they would not have impeached him twice, indicted him four times, and he would not have to survive the assassination attempts that he has. There's something different about Trump because he threatens to expose and uproot the entire cabal and the cartel that has been making everybody in this audience poorer and them richer. The same cabal that allowed him to become a billionaire? Well, um... Him becoming a billionaire was building great hotels and buildings. Not right, the off of a loan from his father. Right, yeah, okay. Um, and he, it's also, I mean, this is interesting. People criticize the loan. If I gave you a million dollars, could you turn it into five billion? Probably not. So it's pretty talented for Trump to turn a million into five billion, yeah? Well, when you come from a dynasty of businessmen, it's kind of expected you pick it up. Okay, it easy, okay, I'm not going to get into that. Easy to minimize the success of entrepreneurs when people have built nothing in their life. So um, what, what would convince you that he is, what, what would, if you say, I'm now convinced that he's for me, what would that be? Well, hmm. Well, if I, wanted, if I wanted him to be for me, I would probably want him to make college free. I think it's ridiculous that we have to pay for a higher education in the first yeah, place. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. guys. It's hey, you really, asked me. You no, asked no, me. No, 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 no. I'm not making fun. Not, I'm trying to calm down the crowd. Mind. Actually, I'm trying to. So by free, you mean that somebody else pays for your college? Pretty much, yes. Okay, got it. So let's just play this out. I didn't go to college. Okay. You're in college. Why should I have to pay more in taxes so you go to college? Make the argument. Civic duty. I would say that uh, being able to fund the education, the higher education rather, of more people, especially in a modern economy, which is so digitized, things like computers are becoming what, what incredibly important. What are you studying? Important. I'm currently studying psychology. Got it. No, it's, it's, it's incredibly interesting because 
basically what you're saying is those of you that work harder and produce more, you must fork over by force to those that do not work as hard. Yeah? Would you rather they just keep all their money? CEOs, billionaires, they just don't pay taxes well, at all? I think, I think a reduction... I think a reduction of taxes, we already pay the majority, you know, I, I'm, I'm part of the 1%. We've already pay a majority of the taxes in this country, vast majority of the taxes. And so what would I prefer? I'd prefer that more people keep your own hard-earned money and the government shrinks dramatically in its size because that increases liberty and freedom. Let me tell you what's going to happen, though. It's easy to pick on people like me. One day I'm paying 50%, soon it will be 60%, then it'll be 70%, and then they'll come for you because eventually I'm going to run out of money. And you can laugh and chuckle, but eventually they're going to come for the working class and the middle class. They already are. They've already come for the working oh, class. Yeah, that has you know not why? changed. Yeah, because the reservoir is getting dry. Is that eventually? Right. Yes. The no, reservoir is getting it's dry. Easy to and, roll. and they don't just want to, you know, fund more of their doomed no, programs. No, it's, it's, e it's easy to roll your eyes, and it's easy to criticize rich people, of which I'm very blessed, and that's fine. But have you ever gotten a job from a poor person? Sorry, a job from a poor person. They don't usually create jobs. They yeah, work bingo. Them. Rich people create jobs with the money that isn't taxed by the government. It doesn't have to be a rich person. It could be the government. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. It, the, it can be the government. The, they the, can make work programs, yeah, things like that. Yeah, the government only creates jobs with the wealth that they extract from the citizenry. The government does not create wealth. The government extracts it by right. definition. Yes. So, therefore, what I'm saying is that if everyone here wants jobs, it's easy to pick on people like me. It's easy to say, you got to pay more, you got to do more. What is hard is actually to have a mature argument rooted in liberty saying, you can earn a vast majority of what you, you can keep a vast majority of what you earn, and that we're going to increase freedom and liberty so that you can actually one day be in the 1%. Yeah, but when you talk about small governments, like what programs will have to be sacrificed? Will it have to be food stamps, Medicare, Medicaid, Well, how about one we can agree credits? with? Sending money to Ukraine. Sending money to Ukraine? We should yeah, stop sending... $200 billion should not be sent to Ukraine. Yeah, I don't really agree with imperialist wars. I, I agree. So. so there we agree with something. Of course. Yeah. There's, there's tons of duplication, waste, fraud, and abuse. We have trillions of dollars unnecessary spending. I, you, you're coming after this in a really good perspective and a good faith argument, and I respect that. My closing argument this will be this, which is that a small amount of entrepreneurs make the world a better place. It is so tempting to be filled with envy, as we call in the Christian tradition, covetous, this, which is the 10th commandment. I'm not saying you're a Christian. I'm just saying in the Christian tradition, we believe it, to say, you shouldn't have that. I'm going to take that from you. What is hard but actually makes society better is to restrain yourself and say, when you see a big house, don't say, I don't think anybody should live like this. Instead, say, I want everybody to live like this. And that is a Jesus, totally different perspective. But didn't Jesus also say, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's? No, for sure. I'm not saying I'm not going to pay taxes. That's a different ar argument, right? So he was talking about pay your taxes if the government issues you a tax, you know, a tax bill, of which I do. I also have the right, given you know, by, the, by the country and also biblical principles, to protest that and to speak against it, because then you become a subject to the state. So last question, do you trust the government? Absolutely not. We agree. So then if you don't trust the government, shouldn't we stop sending so much money to the government? Well, I prefer if we just had a completely different political framework in the first place. Fair enough. But, but I think we can agree <laughs> that... Oh, come it's on. Okay. I like Be nice. Hair. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> we're, we're trying to be respectful. I think it's rather nice. I, I use a lot of product. I, I, I like it. It's now. good. Thank you. At least I, someone agrees. All right. But here's what I'll say. <laughs> You've come after this in good faith. We agree. We agree. You don't trust the government. You want a different political framework. Mm -hmm. My perspective is, therefore, if you don't trust the government, let's stop sending it so much of our hard-earned money. Thank you so much. I got to the next question. Thank you. That's a very um, interesting one. Listening to Tally Kick, I think that uh, the young one came uh, in good faith, even though um, the conversation was getting um, heated at its um, progresses. But then for anyone, you understand, who do not like um, Donald J. Trump, just give us, you understand, January, he is going to assume office. And then you are going to see the peace that the world is going to, uh, to enjoy. We are going to see some of the economic you understand, policy that he is going to roll out and then some of the executive orders he is going to exercise and then therefore we are going to live in peace again and america is going to want to be in peace again and then the border that we keep talking about in you know, some illegal people in you know, get it into the country i believe that he is going to review the asylum you understand know, program and then therefore people who get into the country 
probably illegally i do not know what he's gonna do but probably he might decide to send some people you understand back but nevertheless uh, one thing that this very young man mentioned was talking about if education can be made free i think that that can of make sense because if maybe probably you want to be an engineer and then maybe probably you want to maybe work in software company why don't you just go into coding instead of you going to school and then you'll be studying you know so many courses that are not important or that has nothing to do with you understand coding and then by the process of doing that of course you understand you tend to pay a lot you understand in such you understand um courses that you may not need so why wasting your time you understand in it why wasting all these years you understand in it instead of you to focus more on some of the programming languages it could be c plus plus python and then java and the rest of it of course i study um information technology so i know some of these things so why not in a sense just focus in a sense on things like that so that maybe after that you can just get a job and then that's it instead of spending a lot of money a lot of money in a sense in the college and then that is the reason why charlie is saying that some of these college students have been brainwashed into doing some of some things that may not be important to them you understand in the future but then one thing that i just agree with this very young man that um debate charlie is the school should be made um free because if you look so that at least the students can tend to learn things in a sense about their country and then when it comes to things that has to do with um these trans you see men you understand in women game and things like that. we just know that trump have already fixed some of these things we know he's going to fix them already since he is in a sense being declared in a sense as the president we know that he is going to fix some of these things and then um hopefully we believe that um he is going to sanitize in a sense this very um institution so that at least people can be treated in a sense equally because we have had students in a sense complaining about them we are in the mega heart and then therefore they will not be allowed to go into the libraries and aside from that they are not being graded in a sense fairly so now that trump in a sense has come we believe that some of these things there will be some overhauling in a sense in the educational um systems and then we believe that everything will be done the right way and then america is going to be great again just like how trump has been advocating so i know that a lot of you have total opinion concerning this and i wanted to drop it at the comment section and may god bless you as you do so so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so you remain blessed and i see you in my next video goodbye